M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the ICOM ID50 and today we're going to update the firmware to the latest one which is 1.04. Fix the bug that caused the transceiver to hang up when receiving a call containing invalid characters in DV mode. So let's download the firmware. There's also, if you look here, the CS50 which is the programming software. You might as well download that and get the latest version while you're there just you don't need it for the firmware but you need it to you know to program your memory channel so i'll just grab that while i'm here and then let's grab the firmware so go to the bottom tick the box like so and then download in your in your files section just here where the arrow is it will be there and get the correct one with the firmware you'll see it's literally just a data file okay see that 50e104 dat and on your radio you need to get an sd card pop it into your slot i would format it on your pc first once you've done that go menu navigate around till you get to set press set Go up and down until you get to SD card. Once you've got to SD card, I know it's a bit blurry on my computer. It's quite a hard screen to film. But anyway, once you've done that, uh, press enter and you want to actually format it. Click format and it will format it for you. And when you do that, it, it will load all, your, all the files that you need. Once you've formatted it, go back. And then you want to save it. So go menu, set SD card, and you want to save settings so you don't lose your settings. Yeah, just click save and it will save it on, on your device. So you've got your memory channels. Then select unmount, go menu, set SD card. I think I've already done it, but uh, we'll go down. Unmount is basically like eject. Mount. Grab your card. You have to sort of push it, it's quite fiddly. Tweezers definitely normally a good idea. Uh, but anyway, the gold bit faces forward. Then we're going to grab it and put it into our adapter, which is here. Put it into our PC so that we can slide. Once we get it the right way around, slide that data file onto this card. Once you plug it in your PC, look for it, go to the files bit here and you're looking in your PC to see where it's plugged in. Hopefully, there it is there, see that I double click PC and you can see it says ID50, double click. And we need to put the firmware file in, in one of these folders. So to start off with, I go to my downloads, I'll find it and then I'll swipe it in there. Let's find it, go download. There it is there. And I'll drag it into that same place. It's quite fiddly, so you go right click the yellow folder. Go File Explorer, you get a new window open. This is how I do it. <laughs> uh, and then there's the, you can see it there, and then just drag it here. Now we want it for it to show up on the radio when we select firmware update, we do need to make sure it's in the right place. Okay, let's try again. It's the data file and we're going to slide it into this ID50 like so. We're going to click it and slide it across and just drop it into the ID50. And then we're going to put that back in the radio. So back at the radio, we've got the card back in. I'm just going to go menu like so. Set, go to SD card, then firmware update, go push downwards. Do you agree? Gonna go click upwards, then go yes. Go yes. Just doing as we're told, so it looks like it's making it saving it saving anyway. There's the yeah. firmware updating takes a minute. Uh, after updating, 
until the frequency is displayed. Never turn off or remove the SD card. Do you want to start updating? Up one, yes. Checking file. And loading. So yeah, make sure you've got a full battery as well, really. Firmware, wait for 15 seconds. It's virtually the same process for the 52 and, and the 51, really. Uh, it looks like it's done it. So then we'll just go menu, set, go to others, information, version, and there we are, 1.04. So I hope that helps you. And... Um, I suppose you could do a reset and then reload your card if you really want to make sure that it's completed. Thanks for watching my video updating the firmware. 7.3 all the best.